hello viewers hope you're doing well today in this video we will create an api to place order so let's get started you can see here the spring boot application so let's go to our dto package and here i'm going to create a new class so the class name is place order dto so i'm going to add a annotation that is at the rate data And here I'm going to add the properties. First one is a private long user ID, private string address, private string order description, and the last I'm going to add here that is a private string payment so let me close this and you can see the customer service i'm going to create here a method the return type of the method that is an order dto and here we need to add the name of the method that is a place order and in the argument it will receive place order object so let me create here the object of the place order dto so let's go to our customer service impl and i'm going to implement this method and you can see the method so let's write here the logic to place order in database so in this method here i'm going to create an object of our order and it will be a existing order here we need to call order repository dot method that is a find by user id and order status and here we need to pass place order dto dot get user id and second we need to pass here that is a order status dot pending and second we need to get an optional user so here we need to create an object of our user that is a optional user and we need to call here the repository and the method that is a find by id and here we need to pass place order dot get user id and here i'm going to add if condition where we will check optional user is present then we need to move in the if block otherwise we will return null so here i'm going to set existing order dot set order status and it will be a order status dot submit it existing order dot set address and we will get address from place order dot get address existing order dot set date and here we need to pass the new date existing order dot set payment type and we will get payment type from place order dot get payment existing order dot set description and we will get description from place order dot get order description and we also need to set the price of the order and we will get price from existing order dot get price and after that we need to call here the order repository and the save method and here we need to pass existing order object and after that we need to create a new order with the status pending for the user so here i'm going to create an object for the order and here we need to call order dot set order status and it will be a order status dot pending order dot set user and we will get user from optional user dot get order dot set price and it will be a zero long and after that we need to call here order repository dot save method and we need to pass here the order object and in the last we need to return here order dot get order dto let's go to our customer controller and let's create a method to call method from our customer service and the method that is a public 
response entity here i'm going to add order dto and name of the method that is a place order so we need to get place order dto so here i'm going to add annotation that is at the rate request body and the object that is a place order dto And here we need to call method from our customer service that is a place order and here we need to pass place order dto object so here i'm going to create an object of our order dto and we need to save the response of this method into this object so after that we need to check in the condition that is a order dto is equal is equals to none then we need to return here response entity dot status that is a http status dot bad request dot build otherwise we will return here response entity dot status that is a http status dot create it and in the body we need to pass here order dt object and on the top i'm going to add the annotation that is a at the rate post mapping and the url of this api that is a slash lace order let's run the application and you can see application started that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video in the next video we will call this api from angular i will type the playlist link in the description you can check it out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye